Let's get out of here. And miss the rest? No way. I thought Jane said she liked us. This is well embarrassing. Come on, you two. Let's get your own, mate. Listen, um, I'm really sorry about this. Why? She sleep with you too? Right. I think I got out of my sick bed for this. Wish I'd stayed in bed and all. I hope you're proud of yourselves. If it's true, which I seriously doubt it is. Of course it's true. Jane, and my boy, like a cafe skivvy would interest him. Up to her armpits in greasy burgers, no. I don't think so. Actually, Peggy, it is true. You knew all about this. Must have liked skivvies after all. This can't be true. Tell me it isn't. It's always the same with you lot, isn't it? Can't leave anyone or anything alone. You always have to make people suffer. Please, Pauline. I hope you're ashamed. I'm going to try and find her. You drive a cab, don't you? Uh, yeah. Consider yourself hired. Right. I'm going to change my flight, get my things, and I'm leaving. Is that the best you can do? I've had a lifetime of cleaning up her mess. Enough's enough. <sighs> Doesn't matter how many times you read that, you'll still say the same thing. That's what the wrong woman can do to you. Oh, no. She always seemed decent and honest. I liked her. So did I. Well, just goes to show. Yeah, but Grant and Jane, how'd that happen? Well, animals are trapped. Yeah, but I just can't picture it. Yeah, well, try not to, dear. You'll just make yourself ill. Well, you better get you home out of this rain. In a minute. Mom, what are you doing? We're going to go in there for Ian. Ian's not going to go in the Vic. You're not listening to me, Joe. We're going to be in there for Ian. But maybe I should go and look for him first, eh? Yeah, you do that. Let's get you out of these damn clothes. I'll get out of my way. You've got some fun coming in here. My name's on the guest list. What are you going to do? Throw us out. Oh, maybe you shouldn't. Well, I think I should. You and that twisted nephew of yours are barred. I'll have a gin and tonic when you're ready. Don't push it, Pauline. Look, all this is due to your son. Both of them, in fact. So perhaps they should both be barred, eh? In the meantime, I'm going to sit here until I know that Ian is all right. <laughs> you're as mad as he is. Look, hey, Minty. Come and have a bang on this, mate. It's choice. It's like a bird within a bird within a bird. What, three birds in one mouthful? Yeah, man can only dream, eh? <laughs> Where's the pighead? Last I knew, Ian was out looking for Joe. No, the pig pighead. Someone must have been hungry. Any sign? No, 